Oh, here's a map. Apologies, uh, today I really should have um, loaded up the game before I jumped into the live stream. I got a bit, um, I got a bit ahead of myself there. Um, really got ahead of myself there. Uh, today. Yeah, sounds all good. Um, yeah, a bit tired, just had a workout. Um, so once the game loads up, we'll... Oh, someone's already jumped in. Shouts out to them. Jeez, rate that. Someone's quick on the draw. Uh, oh yeah, let me full screen this. Someone was cutting their grass, I think, earlier, and um, if I can, if they carry on, then I'll have to uh, close the window. Oh, there's that explains that noise. Oh, I've got really bad um, analog drift uh, on my controller, so that is frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Um, PlayStation controller build quality is absolutely terrible. Genuinely one of the worst built controllers I've ever used. Um, it's a far cry from the PS2 controller, which was a lot stronger. A lot, lot stronger. Fair enough, it didn't look as good. You don't have pretty colours. But um, that thing was a tank. It was a tank. The analog sticks would get broken when you play games like uh, Tenkaichi 3 and Street Fighter and stuff. Um, but, you know, it did quite well. I'm the lab and see why Doc's so excited. Uh, not yet, Pete. Uh, we've got to see if there's any more side missions to do, my friend. So you can see, it just drifts a bit. Where else can we go? Ooh, it's a science lab. So, yeah, shouts out to whoever else is watching this. Um, the mystery viewer who never reveals himself. So we'll get into talking about the, um stories um for the upcoming week and a bit i guess depending on um how much i actually stick to this um the the reason why i'm gonna wait and to put a video out on the um the stabbings in uh reading is purely because we don't know if it was um a terror attack or um just an act of violence um either way it's still abhorrent and um you know um my condolences to the families um, regardless of whichever, whatever the motive of the person was, and you know, um, I was reading today, it was a, t a teacher that died as well, and um, you know, I'm sure details will keep coming out of the victims. Demons, uh, and they've got more explosives. I'll get the lay of the land from the bomb squad. Oh, okay, that's the mission I have to do. The bomb squad. Officer, you've got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Tell that to the demons. Another bomb threat. Can you tackle it? Disable the primary device for the army key. Then tackle the secondary device. On it. I'll update you when it's done. There's one more here. What's up, boys? Not again. Okay. Safe to disarm the primary device. Uh, are we on a timer? Yeah, no, we're not on a timer. Space. Okay. Try and get use some of these up. So yeah, shouts out to you, mystery viewer. Maybe it's just YouTube playing games. Who knows? Person leaves after I just insulted them. Um, minus three. Eight. Oh, that's too much. Uh, oh, we'll get the loop built and then we'll worry about all that stuff. Voltage. Uh, 
so I need a uh, oh no minus two so. oh, that's not enough voltage that that'll do it Suc great success dead man switch the other bombs are armed need to disable them before mm, they explode should have enough time to do these Uh oh, no problem. Oh crap, maybe they were a problem. Where's the bomb? You know, you'd think the police would be able to deal with the snipers or like call in the SWAT teams or something. Got a whole minute 30 to do this last one. I'll take my time. Ah crap. Oh, the sniper doesn't want me to do it. And then more stuff that Batman cannot do. Oh my god, I got hit again. Oh god, these snipers are absolutely causing chaos. Time to KO those snipers. You took the words right out of my mouth, big man. the last one and he's all the way over there. Wonder if I can get the prop on him. Probably can't actually. Get off my building. Yeah, boy. Okay, let's deal with this one. So, there's a reason why I won't be just doing a video just on that yet. Um, the police have arrested the um, the attacker. So, what I'll do is um, I'm going to wait for a motive to come out, and then we'll cover it. Um, so, this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread. You know. Pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Oh, another one of these. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Well, let's go lower then. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Mm, kind of wish your fault. What? Even better than duct tape. Oh, I see. Oh, what? I hit that one, didn't I? I'm sure I hit it. So, so, oh, there's loads of these water towers, man. Rah. Just in time. I didn't realize New York had so many. Oh, I best go the other way. I didn't realize New York had so many of these water towers. I suppose it makes sense. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I suppose it actually does make sense. It's a big city, lots of people, and it's on the other side. Of course it is. Just call me the amazing spider plumber.
And so yeah, that's that's the reason anyways I won't be um, covering it just yet. It's important because if I put out a video and it's wrong, um, it's it's just not it's not, it's not ethical, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I could do a video point. just giving out the facts. Those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the water. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Now I ask. How many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry's station stopped the public utility meltdown. Mm, I suppose, but you kind of pause that one. Anyways, um, yeah, okay. Um, so the second wave video, that's going to come um, as a part of a second video of... Um, uh, the student nurses who were recruited to help the um, NHS deal with the um, extra um, cases of things like, I guess, the, the COVID crisis. Um, those nurses have been let go essentially a month early before their contract was due to end. A lot of these people, um, some of these people left their jobs, um, left their course in order to um, help the NHS. And they've been shafted by the government. And um, oh. leading me on a chase. Emily, no, what's her name? Something Watley. Something Watley. She's got that, like, passive crying face where she looks like she's always on the verge of tears. Um, Piers Morgan grilled her um, at some point. Piers Morgan went after pretty viciously, to be fair. Um, and so, let's have a look. Where are we going next? Oh, there's a demon hideout. Okay, let's go do that. Um, yeah, and so her, something Watley, I can't remember what her um, name is, if someone like bothers in the chat, um, you can put it in, and I'd, I'd be very grateful uh, to you for that. Um, she was like, they're not providing enough for service, I'm like, me, there's going to be a second wave, gu almost guaranteed, because of the way people are acting. Um, what's up, man? And um, you're going to you're gonna let these people go a month early. It's just, especially in the way that you've done it as well. It's just, it's pretty embarrassing. Um, it's, it's not pretty embarrassing, it's really embarrassing. Um, and so that would be like a separate video. So I'll talk about that more um, once we get through the other topics. Um, the Cantor Culture one, all, all those kind of, not special videos I guess I'm doing, but like um, kind of more opinion videos I'm doing, is they'll be, um, they'll be taking a bit longer. I'm trying to think of, okay. Trying to think when's the best time to do them, um, like how to structure them. That's the problem because these are more like uh, opinion pieces, I guess. Can I get this guy? Okay, danger. Why is he a danger? Well, I'm about to try something in a minute, mother. I know. I should have called first. Okay. No way. He should be a danger now. And you're done. Can't have the ones inside feeling left out. This is where the game gets messy. Neil you know, messy. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be a separate video that I do. Um let's go down. So cancel culture, um two month extension extension to rent evictions. Um that's something I need to cover. Robert Jenwick as well, he's been called in by the Labour Party to question him over, you know, what um what kind of um what connection did he have to the guy um with the with the land deal, I think it was. Well let's see if I can make some new friends. Or enemies. So dark. There's no way to make the game a bit brighter. Where's the, uh, the brightness was there? I'm going to play with the brightness quite high because um, I'm pretty cowardly. That's not much better. It looks more like a Batman game. Um, maybe this level's meant to be like this. Shh, people around here work. Need to really deal with the snipers. No 
talking during the infiltration. Do it back up. Okay, there you are. Um, and so, yeah, special videos. Two-month expansion to rent eviction. I've that's an important one to cover, um, purely because there's something else the government has done that's positive, but it will add up if you fail to uh, if you fail um, rent payments. So I don't know what that means long term. Say after four or five months, you know, um, what's going to happen at that point. And so that's my only um, concern that after a few months, these people are going to be, um, you know, not given the help that they will need, um, essentially. Oh crap, that guy's there. Let's get rid of this guy. I'll take him out, it's gonna alert everyone. I'll have to distract this guy as well. And I've been caught, haven't I? No, we're still clear. Hmm. Come together, absolute scumbags. Take a break, you earned it. I'm trying to figure out one. To figure out when the moment is that they're going to catch on. So then, oh, here we go. This is it. So let's just have a quick look at um, the next stuff. Yeah, so um, NHS waiting time's up. It's gone up significantly. Um, the conservative guy got caught at a barbecue. That's another one. And um, social mobility um, going down uh, massively. And so that's a big problem um, because social mobility does indicate how um how i guess how not maybe not yeah how easily someone could move up the ladder so you know when they say you know you need to just work harder you know if if there's no chance of like just being able to work harder is if there's no way just working harder just gets you up the gets you up the ladder then what that means is the system is broken it's the classic you know the american dream which is you know you work hard enough you, you'll be able to afford um you'll be able to afford what you need you know you'll be able to buy a house um and all that stuff but what happens when the system's broken when you can't afford to buy a house um, because of the fact that you don't, um, you know, you don't earn enough houses are too expensive. Houses in this country are so expensive um, compared to other countries, you know, especially um, in Northampton. Like, you would think... Um, you would think that in somewhere... Looks like they bring in their buddies in shipping containers. Jesus Christ. It explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a symbol of a society that's just not working. Uh, lack of social mobility. Like, Canada, um, they were doing better than America at one point when it came to social mobility. And so, like, if you create a system where, regardless of how hard people work, they're not going to get up the ladder, then it's just, it's a pointless system, really that um, it doesn't matter how many hours you put in, you know, how much you, you swear and, you know, you, you tour yourself for your employer or if you're self-employed, you know, how many hours you put in, um, it's pointless because you're not going to be able to make up the ladder. You're not going to be able to buy a house because the system doesn't allow it. Because let's not get it twisted now. Getting a deposit in this, um, in this country is really hard, you know, saving up 10 grand. Um, it's a difficult thing to, not even 10 grand, it'd be about 15, 15, 20k, you know, saving up that amount of money is really difficult. Um, and so, there's that. These guys do not feel as difficult as they usually do. Oh crap. You stay down buddy. Oh, that's not true. We run out soon. Mm. 
the last ones to fight the spider. Where's Rocket Launcher go? Is that you? Are you Rocket Launcher guy? Is it you? Oh, changing levels on, on this game actually does help quite a lot. You're not a rocket launcher guy. Where are you? Somewhere over there. There you are. Oh, that's that was nonsense. Done it. Got hit once. Kind of annoyed, but um, yeah. Um, so yeah, the two meter rule is being looked at. So most likely, there. I think they're gonna they're gonna get rid of it soon. I think they're gonna change it into a one meter rule. Genuinely, um, genuinely do feel that because there are a lot of Tory backbenchers who are very annoyed about the two meter rule because it means you can't cram in people to work. Because um, if you, in, in some places, I know like, um, you know, like fast food places, it's um, difficult to keep two people two meters apart. It's really hung up, bud. First time I played this game, I actually didn't do all these side missions and stuff, which is um, kind of annoying. Like you find out uh, Pete's parents are uh, secret agents who died on a plane. Like that's the first time I ever actually heard his parents be mentioned. Work-life balance for idiots. I wonder if that's a real book. That could be a real book. Uh, let's see, we'll go down here. I think we've cleared out almost everything bonus-wise um, in this area at least. So yeah, I think the two meter rule might be um, cancelled. Let me see how long this has been running for. Cause it feels like I haven't been talking that long. Twenty three minutes. Yeah, in good time. And so, what that will mean is, I know a lot of people aren't adhering to the two meter rule anyway, especially in shops, because like you just want to get in and get out. And and shops aren't really designed to have you know big spaces between aisles. They're designed to be quite narrow, um, so you can fit in more stuff. Which you know, it's it is you know. That's just the way it is, like. Uh, it's been a long time since I owned a calculator like that. And so, yeah, I just... Uh, where am I going with this? Um, so, so yeah, it's not the, the fault of the shops, really, um, that this is happening. Um, they've tried to put out markers. It's not, it's not, you know, they can't force people to... Or I, I suppose they can kind of force people to abide by the rules. But um, it's a lot of effort to do that. And then you put your staff in danger as well, because you're going to have to go up and talk to people. Um, like when I didn't go, cause I didn't realize the Tesco had a one-way system. And um, the guy, like physically, like he had to, he had, cause I had my headphones on, and so he had to. Um, I think he just touched my arm, and then he said, like, "There's a one-way system." I was like, "Oh," and so like obviously, like it's kind of my it is my fault because I didn't see, and like it kind of puts him in a bit of danger as well that he had to like come in uh, quite close um, to do that um, to to correct me, I guess. And so um, you know it's. It's just not a good idea right now. Like the country is not in a the best state at the moment, um, coronavirus wise. Like um, there have been some big outbreaks recently, and um, without track and trace, which is something I'll get to uh, in a bit, it's just not a smart move making changes now when you haven't put the precautions other countries have put in place. Almost there. Uh, eat. Oh, look at that landing right there. Leash is close to her goal, and I've still got way too big an area to search. Got to narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. Mm, this one looks tricky. This one's definitely going to be tricky. They have a lot of rooftop like um, stuff, like 
places to sit. I mean, look at that. Normally it'd be that kind of doorway there. There it is. Here it is. Do these people not realise there's a cat there? Lives here. Stephen from a country singer. She's getting creative. No, oh, we've got I'm a third viewer. Closer. One more ought to do it. So yeah, um, there's a um, there's a report out that came out. Oh, there's an airplane up there. There's a report that. Okay, there's crime going on. We'll stop that and then. What's up, guys? Yo, <laughs> not heard that one. That's pretty funny. Oh crap! You got me. No time to make jokes. Need to focus. Not much to stop him picking up that rocket launcher, to be fair. Absolute noob tuber with your little rocket launcher, man. Hit me now, fool. Oh. Oh, I've taken a bit of damage. Okay, he's down. Tell you what, my brother keeps saying about him playing um, Assassin's Creed 2, and um, it's made me a bit jealous. I want to play it again, and um, yeah, I just oh, it's one of my favourite Assassin's Creed games. I think it's in the the top top three, I think top three or top four Assassin's Creed games. Um, honestly, yeah, I've got a picture. Boom. And so, yeah, let me know if you guys are a fan of the Assassin's Creed series and, like, what, which, what rank, what's your top three? Mine, probably, uh, top four, top four I'll go with, uh, AC1, AC1 was really good. Um, of course it's Chelsea. Um, let's see, AC... Oh, my days are vicious. Big hands. You stay down, bud. Oh, I hate these. These guys are way more annoying to deal with than, like, people with guns. Speaking of people with guns. A bag of cocaine. Should have shot me, you fool. Neil before Zod. Um, so yeah, I think it's probably. <laughs> Let's go with uh, eight, my top four. So it's not in the specific order. So AC1, uh, Black Flag, um, Brotherhood, and. Revelations, I think. I liked Revelations quite a lot. So the next game I might do on here is the Ezio Trilogy. It's very possible it would be the Ezio Trilogy. And for some reason I can't see many of the side missions, so I might have to do this main mission. Um, I am blind, though. There's a bird. I'm going to go with the bird, I suppose. Um, and the bird's the other way. So, yeah. So the um, so B M E which B M E B B B A M E which stands for Black and Ethnic uh, Minorities, Black and Minority Ethnic, which which doesn't it sounds a bit, it just doesn't sound right. You know, it just it just doesn't. Oh, the third view is gone. Sad times. Um, it just doesn't sound right. Um, anyways, but we can see deaths are higher amongst the um the B M A the. BAME community and the fact is um, Bengali people have a much higher uh, rate of death and that concerns me because your boy is Bengali. Scary times. And so I've had family members who think they've caught it. There's only one way to know that's through um, an antibody test. Um, so I hope, I'm hoping those become more available. Um, honestly, so then at least would know like if they have it or not. That bird's flown really high into the air. Wait, where'd it go? No, I'm not even in the right vicinity yet. How the hell? Do like pigeons fly that high up? What's he even doing up here? Oh, 
there's a pigeon. Come on. It's a fast one. Oh, there's nothing for me to web onto here. I think this was like the old school Spider-Man games where you can web onto the air. I think it was like Spider-Man 1 it was called. On like the PlayStation 1. Gotcha. gotcha. Oh, I got all of them. Oh, is that all of them? 12 out of 12. Spider-Man, I can't believe it. Whole family's reunited. No sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. Well, now that she's gone, there you Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Dan says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Okay, so carrying on. So that there, there was that report. It came out, I think, two weeks ago. Like, it was like... They said they weren't going to release it because of all the racial tensions in the country, and then they're like, so it, I, I don't know if they released it or someone leaked it, and then they're just like, oh, no, we released it. I'm just like, it's a bit weird. Um, in all honesty, it was very weird. And so uh, there was that. So we've got... Um, oh, yeah, there's like, obviously police violence and stuff. And there was like, I watched one video today where a guy was stopped, and they searched his car, and it's like, oh, we're searching your car because we found Vaseline. And, like, you can use Vaseline to, to hide drugs. Up your bum, and I'm just like, well, what? and the guy was just like, well, how do you know he had Vaseline? And then the video cut off, so I don't know what the hell happened there. It's really weird, like. This is Sable Control. Do we have an update on the situation in Clinton? Ugh. Humans are attacking Outpost Romeo. Send back up. Go all the way this way, because stupid Sable people can't actually do their job. Demons are turning the city into a war zone. Okay, the people in the top floor apartments are really annoyed with you right now. Watch, we're gonna have to fight these Sable guys, yeah, they're bare OP. This is a guy noob tubing out here, man. I had a good start on this game, now I'm getting lit up again. Why are you throwing a bomb right next to you? Alright. No need to thank me, stable dudes. Although it's kinda rude you didn't. Okay, now to actually do a main mission because um don't have much choice really. I think the game's capped me, but I'm not sure. Um, I could be just blind. And so, yeah, that was just a really weird video. I'll throw that one into my police brutality video where, you know, it's just the police looking looking to start problems with people. I don't know. It feels like it's the Met Police mainly. I suppose they are in London, which, you know, does have, I think, the highest amount of knife crime in, in the in the country. Oh, God, I've got hiccups. In the country. But at the same time, you know, stop and search isn't that effective. Um... And so, yeah, you know, and um, there's a video I'm going to do specifically on the police and police violence with um, just kind of discussing how the police's strategy, it don't make sense. Um, it don't make sense because you're going to, you're too, you, by, by clamping down on protesters um, and obviously looters and, um, hey, well, looters are fine, Pro you know, stop them, rioters. As well, but by constantly attacking peaceful protesters. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Oh yeah, who actually funds this? We really need to get better. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. It must have been mine. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Oh, there's some old-looking computers. Where'd they go? No one's got in that. Dell Optiplex, man. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. 
Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. So, anyways, um, black and minority ethnic deaths, police Ready? attacks, um, uh. I think, personally, I think that the government will end up blaming the scientists, I've got a feeling. Um, with Theresa Coffey saying that, you know, any, any mistakes the government made is the fault of the scientists and their advice. The problem is, they have to specify which scientists specifically gave them the advice in order for that strategy to properly work. They could just gaslight the people and, you know, it's possible they gaslight people and or people believe it because... Um, because that's what they've always done and it seems to work so you know lying gaslighting and going into the culture wars lol Especially how smart Peter is, really, that he can work as a science guy. Um, so, uh, if you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. He can work as a science guy really and be Spider Man at the same time. Became friends. Tried to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone calls us B.O.s. <sighs> Add corp to that, and, well, they didn't catch a name. Why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. I knew it was the... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. So, anyways, um, yeah, I think I think they're gonna throw the um, scientists under the bus. Uh, oh, no good. Gotta reroute this circuit. It's gotta go the other way. Mm, we're looking for five. Yeah, minus or very big. This is one of the ones I really just didn't like doing. Oh yes, we hit it first time. Get in. That's what I'm talking about. Great success. No, is that himself doing that? So, um, yeah, Dr. Edmonds, he was one of the ones pushing herd immunity. I did a, uh, I think I did a couple videos on him. Neural interface. It's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. That's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? You're changing the world. Let's call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, we'll just still be here when you get back. And so yeah, that's that's why I think the scientists have gotten ahead of it. Uh, Ferguson, Niall Fer Neil Fer yeah, Neil Ferguson was saying that um, had we locked down a week earlier, we'd have half the deaths. And I'm not sure on his modelling, but we know that pre-lockdown, the um, there was about a hundred thousand infections a day. Um, you know, it was spreading because this thing's highly infectious, and so. Um, 
I think the maths were one person would infect 1.3 uh, people. Hey, and so that's what small. keeps it alive and keeps Still spreading. for a while until she calls. No worries, the other side of the wall. Is it here? There it is. Pizza delivery hat, yeah. Spider-Man 2 delivering pizza is one of the most um, fun and annoying things I've ever had to do. Uh, purely because if you if you go web around and stuff, then uh, the pizza gets ruined, so you have to be really careful. I love that game so much. It's one of my favourite games. My, one of my regrets um, in life is, is honestly is not completing that game because it was, it was really good. Can anyone see any black cat symbols anywhere? There it is. That must be the last one. Yeah, yeah, it must be it. Lucky he's close by. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, I was meant to say apologies for not doing this live stream on Friday, which... Is the slot kind of one Man United were playing on Friday? It got late, and then I'd rather uh, I watched the game, um, and then it was too late to obviously live stream. And then Remember Saturday, I fell asleep. The data I need to find Black is there always food here? On my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50, and she might go straight. Boom, got it. There you are. Oh man, that's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia, quick. Found her hideout. Well. Gotta get there before she leaves town. Cool, let's go do this. So, um... Yeah. So I don't know if that's the scientist getting ahead of it by admitting that there were mistakes. I mean, Edmund specifically was one of the ones pushing herd immunity because he didn't think a lockdown was possible. But at the same time, he might have been dissuaded from doing a lockdown by um, someone else within the committee, um, a certain government advisor, perhaps, um, who said, you know, let pensioners die according to Shipman. Um, who knows? So there's that. Mm -hmm. so it's very possible he was told a lockdown isn't possible so the next step would be just let it run through the country then because once you lock down there's always the chance of a second and third wave and so it's very possible now he's admitting to his mistakes because um, he was the what, guy who pushed um, pretty aggressively for herd immunity in that video clip with him talking to I think it was like a French I think it was like a French scientist I'm not sure um, I nicknamed him um, handsome scientist guy what is this Oh. I nicknamed him Handsome Scientist Guy, so if you find that video, um, it's that one. Um, someone's dropped me a message. Let me just check this real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I've, I've got a really bad problem of trying to reply to people um, as quickly as possible. Um, Probably a good trait in hindsight, but like. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Freedom tunnel. Before feast started, this was a haven for New York's homeless. Mostly abandoned now. Good hiding spot. Must be a hidden entrance or something. Bingo. Okay, so uh, so blaming the scientists. Um, Looks like everything she stole, but no sign of leaked financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? Looks like one of the safes from Far Cry. Wine from a Magia vineyard. Fisk reported this stolen a few years back. What's this? Spider. You raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. He is, I'm isn't he? cute, it? too. Which is why I made you something more flattering. If you've got it, spawn it. 
This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? It's a very Catwoman-esque suit, to be honest. Hey, MJ, headed to your place for dinner now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Are you smiling? You sound like you're smiling. I gotta go. Hmm. What's that about? Look like chickens. Oh look, cat's dancing with the little spider. Also imprisoning him in a jar against his will. Cute, very cute. Hmm. This is a hide on. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. Ah, second view is gone. Sad times. Um, oh well. I'll just play this back. I'm sure uh, Alice will play this back at some point, probably. Um, I think I've successfully done that mission. Should get a phone call. Should have got a phone call. Um, oh, I've got the suit. I quite like this suit, to be fair. It, it does look good. A very uh, uh, black cat inspired suit, not gonna lie. So we got that one. Yeah, Trump tear gassing um, people and um, the military guy, I think his name was Kelly or something like that. He came out and said, I shouldn't have been there in his military um, outfit, you know, looking like he's in downtown Fallujah or something like that. Um, and so Trump tear gassing people, um, apparently breaching the First, first Amendment, the right to protest. Um, so there's that. But um, not a good look for the president, a guy who went up um, to a church that was, I think, uh, uh, damaged and then holding a Bible improperly saying, oh, look at me, I can hold a book, um, but I can't read though. Um, and yeah, the Trump rally has been pretty embarrassing as well. Not only did he get mugged off by a bunch of K-pop stands and some kids to make it look like he um, was going to have a huge rally with about a million people wanting to apply, but um, he barely sold, I think, half the stadium. And, um, you know, it shows you that all his, you know, his his kind of rhetoric about people not shouldn't be um, not to be scared about coronavirus. looks like it hasn't worked because this guy was packing out stadiums, um, you know, pre-COVID. And so it's quite embarrassing on his part. Um, so there's that. Uh, the China, um, the China India beef. Um, this is it's a scary one. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, I can't see them getting into a hot war, especially over like something as small as a border dispute. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I could be alone in that um, because these are two nuclear powers. Um, you know, I think in a non-nuclear war, I think China would get smashed. But obviously, we live in a world with nuclear missiles. So unless, unless China can can stop a missile launch, um, I can't see them getting into a hot war. To be honest, well, MJ lives in a nice nice building. So there's that. And so I don't think, I just don't think it will happen. I think we'll call this at the final mission, so we'll start racking through these. Um, North Korea broke, um, destroyed the building, a liaison building for the South, I think it's for meetings. You are not going to believe what happened. Do you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. Who is this? Just listen. Oh, an MJ. Oh, not this MJ mission. Oh, I hate doing MJ missions. Fighting Rhino with uh, Miles might be worse though. That one was hard. I had to go on YouTube for that one. But I do think the game glitched. So, New Zealand's first positive coronavirus cases were people coming from the UK, which shouldn't be a surprise uh, to anyone. Um, I'm glad they've stopped it early, stopping a second wave. And um, shouts out to their Prime Minister, who's done a very, very good job. Um, I can't remember her name. I know what she looks like. I can't remember what her name is. Um, but she's done a very good job. Of. Might be something inside that connects this to life. Oh, this is gonna be a train wreck. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Oh, I didn't realise that's such bad language in this game. Which way is it gonna go? Just the real question is Mm 
really did not like do not like doing these sneak missions. There is a side mission with Tombstone, which is quite good. Who's this one for that alert? That guy. Shoot. Just move out of the way, man. Don't be that guy. Okay, so, so yeah, I'm I'm not gonna break the people who were, who went to New Zealand who were COVID COVID, po COVID positive, because um, they were going to see a relative who was, in their final stages of life to put it lightly, and um, the person died the same day they got there, and um, it's tragic. But um, at the same time, I'm glad, they um, they managed to, um, get the um, people who had corona isolated. But the same, I hope they. They had a chance to um, see the relatives. Oh, the person they went to see. You got some stones, Rick. You got some stones, Rick, boy. Let's see if they break. Pop. A disappointment. Yo, man got curb stomped. A fatal end. And now I need a new welder. Rest in peace, dude. Um, so let's see, New Zealand. Sorry, I've gone a bit quiet. Um, so what happens when I do stealth missions, man? Go inside. Okay, so uh, so yeah, that's the New Zealand one. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. How do you know what it is? Stone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just need some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. Oh, and in January, too. Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke out. So, let's talk about what you found in his office. I think it's a bit of audio lag still. Um, 
Yeah, the way student nurses have been treated by the government has been pretty abhorrent, um, to be honest. Um, the contracts have been cut a month early, so instead of you know worrying about where they, what they're going to do next month, they have to worry about it on short notice. And there's a lot of disrespect from, I think her name's Helen, Helen Watley. She was, they're not providing a service. Um, as far as I know of, nurse, nurses are, um, there's a nurse shortage anyways. And by you uh, disrespecting these people, Again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to put the word. Did, did you just clean your clothes on the kitchen floor? It's a bit awkward that's a uh, black cat's uh, suit. Well, the one black cat made from. Yeah. I think it's meant to be a more flamboyant version of the uh, Spider Man Noir suit, I think. So, anyways, uh, how long have we been going for? Almost an hour, so we're almost done. Um, we, we won't get to this mission. Um, so, yeah, they're saying that um, they're going to cut the um, student nurses' contracts a month early. Um, it's just shocking, shocking behaviour. Um, honestly, it's terrible, and what the way they've treated nurses, especially because these people will be in the NHS for years to come. And if some of these people sort of disrespectful hey, and move to a different country, I wouldn't blame them. So what do we know about especially since um, you know Australia typically is a country that does, I think, recruit um, NHS nurses. So you know, if if they did move on, I wouldn't blame them. And um. So there's that one, Boris painting a plane, spending about £900,000 on painting a plane when um, we're meant to be um, careful about where we're spending and things like that, where man didn't have money for kids to eat, and now suddenly he's got money uh, to paint a plane. Okay. Uh, Matt Hancock breaking social distancing by um, patting an MP um, on the back, saying that, you know, it's not my fault, um, you know, I hadn't seen him in ages. Um, you know, he's my friend, my boy, you know, people haven't seen their relatives in ages, Matt, shut up, you know. Talking about it's normal human reaction. I get that, but you're the health secretary. You're meant to know better, especially since you're not meant to be in the House of Commons anyway. It's really when you can do the work remotely. Um, the Commons wasn't designed for people to be two meters apart and social distance. It's a very small place for a lot of people. Um, Rob thinking the whole take a knee thing is from um, the take a knee thing is from Game of Thrones, which was comical at best, really apparent at worst, seeing as. Um, you know, Colin Kaepernick has been doing that since, I think, 2016. And you're the Foreign Secretary. It's almost as bad as when he was Brexit Secretary, um, hadn't read the Good Friday Agreement, um, and didn't know how um, reliant we were as an island on the um, Dover-Calais crossing. Embarrassing stuff, Rob. A guy who does not read enough, evidently. Um, outbreaks in Germany in meatpacking plants. Um, there, was a, there was quite a big outbreak, I think about a 1,000 cases, um, in Germany of covid um, from a meatpacking plant, which is scary stuff, and it shows you no one's safe. No, no country is really safe. That it does take a few, a few slip ups, and boom, you've got a second wave. Luckily, um, Germany locked down that area really quickly, and um, the school, in the schools in those areas, been shut down. Everyone's been asked to quarantine, um, and so that's good news. And hopefully, you know, they, they, they don't face a, s a second wave. They barely face the first wave, um, but um, if they're not careful, they could face um, a pretty aggressive second wave. Um, and they were in the UK as well. I think there's been about three, three or five meat plants who have faced the same problems as well. Um, and in the US, it's quite common because of how packed in they are. Um, and then we've got um, the NHS tracking app. Oh, it's called the NHS tracking app. Shouldn't really be called that. The government's tracking app for track and trace app. Um, you know, they finally realised they can't do it on their own, and they need the help of the big tech companies, um, the Silic gods of Silicon Valley. Um, Google and Apple, but um, Matt Hancock has failed to tell Apple that we actually need them. So that's pretty embarrassing, and it could take a few more months for, for them to actually get the app finalised. So there's that. Um, 
Trump firing the um, or having the um, one of the uh, prosecutors, I think, uh, SDNY fired. That's the Southern District of New York. Um, I think his name is Berman. He's been fired um, for no no apparent reason. I mean, I think under the rules of um, the presidency, as the executive, he can hire and fire as he watch, as he wishes. But um, there was rumours that they were investigating Giuliani, and that's possibly why he's had this guy fired. But um, the SDNY have been doing some pretty good work. I mean, they're the ones going in for Prince Andrew. They're the ones who dragged Epstein in as well. Um, I don't think you can blame them for Epstein's alleged suicide um, because that's not their department. But at the same time, um, they're doing good work. And so him hiring some crony who's, um, I think, defended Deutsche Bank in the whole Russian money laundering scheme does tell you about, you know, um, what Trump's angle is when, when it comes to this one. Especially because maybe Trump thinks he won't be re-elected. So he needs to, he needs to mess around with these guys, seeing as um, Trump. Um, I think some of Trump's financial records are based within uh, New York. And that's within SDNY's um, jurisdiction, I believe. Um, so that's something I'd have to check out. You know, during these live streams, I can't give you 100% accurate information purely because I'm playing a game. Um, so I do my best to take, like, bullet point notes. And so... Um, poor, pro corporate lawyer, yeah, I, I couldn't read my handwriting there. And we'll end with uh, good old Robert Jenrick, who is um, being dragged in by Labour, essentially, over allegations of, I guess... Of corruption with um, some sort of house deal where he overruled the um, one of the um, groups that deal with housing so then one of the his uh, the person who was doing the deal I think the developer um, could avoid a 50 million um, tax uh, there was a, a tax increase and he avoided um, paying the extra taxes um, by having Robert Jenwick um, really forced through the development project at least I that's that's as far as I know of so far I'd have to check on the specifics when I do the video um, so it's not looking too good for Robert Jenrick, especially because this guy, he donated to the Conservative Party as well, so he looks corrupt as hell. And so, um, you know, we'll end we'll end with that. And, um, yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, Shouts out to Ellis if you're watching this back. Um, and anyone else, you know, um, Monta or whoever, um, whoever else w uh, watches back. Um, and big up to you, second viewer. You know, I don't know who you are. Um, you know, normally you're around, you don't comment if you are the same person. Um, you know, maybe you're a robot, who knows, but um, I respect you, I respect you a lot, and so yeah, 